All right, time now to bring in our halftime headliner, Mr. Tom Lee. He's the head of research and a managing partner at Fundstrat, also a CNBC contributor. Tom, it's great to have you here at Post 9. Great to see you all. All right, so you got a new note out today. I want to I make sure I point out, you are the biggest bull on the street. S&P target of 4,700, about a 6% upside from where we are right now. Next closest BMO, only a 2.5% rise. Um, you put out this note today saying that we're not seeing the normal Fed playbook with their tightening cycle. This is an inflation war. How does that shape or how should it shape investors' view of the rally that we're seeing and, and your outlook for the rest of the year? Uh, well, I think it – I think that – uh, there's two things the market sort of framework, uh, I think, is changing, and, and that's why there's momentum in stocks. The first is I think too many economists think this is a traditional business cycle, Fed cycle, tight until you break the economy. But it's really an inflation war, and the Fed will slow down or even stop when inflation expectations break. We got the UMIS uh, one-year inflation survey today. I don't know if people saw it. 3.3 percent, that's an utter collapse in consumer expectations of inflation. I mean, just utter collapse. So I think the Fed's a lot, is done a lot sooner than people realize. So does that change the rules of engagement when you're looking at this market and where to put money or maybe even pull or trim money? Uh, yes. A uh, couple things. If you look at past inflation wars, when the inflation war is over, Strangely enough, the market pins itself to the original level, meaning like 80, 82, you saw the stock market recover the entire 27-month bear market in four months. And I think what we're seeing today is the stock market is trying to pin itself back to 4,800, led by cyclicals because these companies survived an inflation war and, you know, they, they've been battle-tested. But I think the second thing that people have been sort of expecting widely held as a recession, but instead of us falling into a recession, we're actually slipping into an expansion. I mean, look at Q2 earnings, X Energy, it's up year over year, the first time in six quarters. So I think earnings have bottomed. Jack Gorman at M uh, Morgan Stanley said the same thing at a conference that, you know, talking to all the CEOs, his gut feels that the economy's bottomed. So we have an inflation trajectory that could get the Fed to cool off, and we have an expansion. That's an early cycle trade that we see the old highs. You now, you also put out some fresh money ideas. In this group, you are looking at tech, but it's not the tech we've been talking about, those seven names. I'm talking Cisco, Juniper, names like that. Why are you feeling bullish about names like that right now in the tech space, but outside the AI plays? Uh, well, you know, our, our number one sector pick remains FANG. And, you know, we're recommending people look at the, the laggards of the FANG, but that's not necessarily easy, as Josh was saying, to put a, a huge allocation to work. Uh, there is a lot of evidence the market's broadening, and I think pretty adjacent to a lot of the talk about AI is Com Equipment, and so that's why we, we've listed names like Motorola and Cisco and F5. But at the same time, the consumer discretionary space uh, really benefits from a broadening market and, and also an inflation war that's being won, and, and that's why we highlighted the airlines. Is it also a valuation story? I mean, I'm looking at Cisco's valuation, 13 times forward earning, Juniper 14 times forward earning in that space. Are these, you know, below the trend valuations, does that make this play more attractive in your mind or is it the business itself? Uh, it's a little bit of both, Frank, because, you know, I don't want to discourage anyone. When you have a secular story, you don't want to be valuation sensitive. So no one should really be disputing the PEs of an AI play. But when you think of allocated dollars and CapEx to AI that Cisco is going to capture, if, if they can have sustained growth, the, the multiple is going to go up towards 20 or 30. So there is a multiple expansion story on top of an earnings story. So as I said, you're the biggest bull on the street. S&P target of 4,700. Any thoughts about raising it? Uh, you know, we could raise it if breadth is expanding. I mean, I think one thing we're watching is the small caps. Uh, you know, Josh is pointing out they are starting to participate. But, though, of course, you know, investors need to be wary that nothing goes straight up. So I think there is a chance, of course, a window where there could be a tactical pullback. I mean, maybe it's going to be caused by the VIX or some other stumble, and, and we would just I think it's more important for the viewers to know that that's, that's a dip they need to buy instead of thinking it's a top. A stumble, then it goes back up again. Yes. All right. Tom Lee of Fundstrat. Tom, thank you so much for being here at Post 9.